We are joined by John Penrose, the Conservative MP, who is backing Penny Mordaunt for leader. John Penrose, in the interests of party unity, but most importantly, the interests of the country, Penny Mordaunt needs to drop out of this contest, doesn't she? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't be here if I thought that was quite right. I mean, we'll, we'll know in 90 minutes or so whether or not she's got the 100 signatures. We're, I'm told, getting very, very close to that now. Momentum is certainly with her. But the, the important thing here is who's going to be best at uniting not just the Conservative Parliamentary Party in the building over my shoulder, but actually the country as a whole. Um, and actually, I think, I think both could do it. But most of the polling that I've seen shows that Penny is that bit ahead. She would be better able to do it. She is um, much the least divisive. And you know, given what we've been through, not just in the last six weeks, but actually as a country with all the stuff about lockdowns and everything else, there's a huge job to do of bringing the country back together um, and in dealing with a whole load of things which actually, in a normal parliament, things like high, sky-high housing prices, um, uh, to rent or to buy, energy prices, those sorts of things, in a normal parliament they would have been dealt with and there will be programmes underway over the last two or three years. But because of the pandemic, they haven't been. And that means we've really got to get a move on. The clock is ticking. And it means we've got to you know, get, start providing solutions really quickly. Why, why, therefore, does George Freeman, of course, a key figure in her campaign, suggest that she needs to stand or, or, or back out? Yeah, well, I, 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 I was... Um, I was sad to see George saying that, and I, I love him to bits, but I would respectfully disagree with him about that, I've got to say. I mean, the crucial thing here is who can uh, unite the party best? Now, actually, both are good. Both the two candidates uh, in play at the moment are definitely good. But again, I keep on coming back to it. The polling that I've seen shows that people um, like Penny Moore. They, they think that she is um, more of a unifier, less divisive than others. Um, and equally importantly, you know, they think that she's, she's clever, that she's, she's a straight talker. Um, and that she's someone who understands what everybody in the country is going through. Right, but without... That is, I think, um, you know, politi politically important. And yeah. So I would respectfully, and George and I are old friends, I would respectfully disagree with them on that one. OK, but the critics say without the ministerial experience to really see through the top job, which, of course, is what people say uh, really hit Liz Truss. Well, I, I, again, I think that's not quite right. I mean, she's, um, Penny has been a, a minister in eight different government departments, done nine different ministerial roles. She was actually a minister before Rishi Sunak was ever even elected to Parliament. So she's got a whole breadth of experience there. Um, the, the difference is, of course, she hasn't been Chancellor of the Exchequer during the, during the, the pandemic, so she's got less name recognition than Rishi has. Fair, fair point. Um, but that doesn't mean to say she's less experienced. Far from it. She's got a lot of breadth. Rishi Sunak, I'm sure you would agree, he, he is the favourite uh, at the moment. He lost the contest last month. He could become Prime Minister the following month of October. Isn't that going to be a bit awkward for uniting the party when the members rejected him just a month ago? Well, th that's my argument why Penny actually would be better. I don't, I don't think instantly that Rishi would be bad. Um, I think I've got a lot of admiration, a lot of time for Rishi, but I think that Penny would be better for the reasons, Gloria, that you've just summarised. I think it will be harder for him to unite just because, you know, that poll where he didn't win, where he came second, creditable second, um, was so recent. Um, and so, therefore, he will have th that hurdle to overcome, which Penny won't.